so in this video we are going to make a nougat package from our project so by that i mean here's the dna framework which is going to become the universal source of all of our projects going forward with kind of really common code and common setup that we want in kind of every project uh, and right now in facetta word we we reference this actual project and source code which is not really what we want to do Instead, what we want to do is reference it just like we reference everything else with these NuGet references like we've referenced here. So in a project, if you right clicked manage NuGet packages and you browse, these are kind of this is how you want to install it with these package references. Uh, and then the installed ones are obviously here. So we want to see DNA.framework in this list. And to do that, it's pretty simple. So I'll show you how to do it. Uh, and you can see the main package source is nougat.org. So that's where we're going to start. So the plan is to get this actual project into a nougat package. And then our facetta.word and any other project going forward, you don't need the source code. You can just right click, manage nougat, search for dna.framework and, and install it. And then when there's an update, you just update it as well. So we'll start with that. Uh, the first stage is to go to uh, nougat.org which will take you to just the home page. Click sign in or create account. Uh, so I've just created an account because I've got two-step authentication. So I just want to uh, cut through on the video so you don't need to see that. So uh, I'll just sign into this um, and then I'll show you where to go. So all you need to do is create an account. It's free. You just specify your info and sign up. And if I can remember the correct password, See if we get in now. There we go. So we're now signed in and that's all I've done. I haven't done anything else to this account yet. I've just created an account. So we'll start with this. Um, you want to go to API keys and create. And this is so that we can push to Nougat using the key. And that's how we kind of publish. So we'll do a key name of, um, I don't know, I'll just call it Luke Games Room because that's where I am. Uh, select scope, you want to be able to push. New packages and package versions. Uh, so that's that's it. The glob pattern, we want to just put a star, which means allow everything. You know, don't bother filtering. Uh, you can do as examples show here. So you can allow a key to only push to certain packages, but this is one I just want to push everything. And that should be it, you just click Create. So now I've got a new API key, and I copy. So now it's copied to the clipboard. Keep that private, uh, because this will be used to obviously push something to this uh, site in a minute. Um, and then if I just open up uh, a notepad and paste, yep, yeah, I've got my key. So obviously I won't show that on the video, because that's my private key to push here. So if you click Copy, you'll be able to paste into your clipboard. Uh, so that's the first step so now we've got this account it's all ready to go we'll go to the actual project that we want to make a package for which is this one and obviously it's a .NET core standard library in this case this is the one i'm publishing right click properties and then just go to the package section and then here you see this generate nougat package on build so we could do that but i'm going to manually generate it as and when i need so you could check that but i'm leaving it blank uh, the ID DNA that framework's fine. The author is me. Company is Angel Six, and the product is DNA dot framework. Uh, the description of my product, if I just copy and paste from uh, the GitHub source code, copyright. Uh, there isn't really one. It's open source. License, same thing. Project. So I'll just put the project URL again of the source code. Uh, get a framework. I haven't got an icon. Well, I have actually got an icon, um, but I believe uh, the icon needs to be a PNG. So it's worth. Oh no, I don't have an icon yet. I've got an icon for DNA Web, but I don't have one for DNA Framework. I will be getting one once I get that file. I'll put a, an URL link to the PNG of that icon, and that'll appear in here. So I'll do that after. The repo is the same. Um, the repo type. Uh, you can read up on specific types. For now, I'm just going to leave that blank. The tags can be anything we want, so I'll just chuck in a bunch of keywords. Obviously, the first one's DNA framework, and then uh, company name, and just general bits. Uh, release notes, 
I'll just put the same as description for now. It's the first version and save. And that's all you need for the package. So now when we want to create a package, if we were to open this folder, uh, and then we right click on the project, or in fact, first you want to change to release if you're not already to make sure you're in release build. You don't want to publish a debug version. Right click on the project and click pack. And that should generate in your folder, uh, in the bin folder and then release. You've got now your package. So this is now all we need uh, to publish to the NuGet package. Uh, website package uh, yeah, nougat.org so you can go in this folder click up here and just type cmd for open a command and then what we want to do in this command now type in .NET first to make sure you've got .NET if not make sure you install the .NET Core SDK but this comes with Visual Studio so you, you should be able to just type .NET and to publish to the nougat site you type .NET nougat push and then the name of the package, which is in this folder, so it's that one, dash key, and then you paste your secret key into there, uh, which I'll leave out for now, so I'll put X for the minute, dash S, and then the site that you want to push to is HTTPS, colon, forward slash, forward slash, so it's on one line, and it's uh, api.nougat.org, forward slash v3 forward slash index dot json so if i now just go ahead and put my key in here all i'll do is blur this on the video so you can see what actually happens let me just copy uh go back to here Ooh, json back to here and replace the x with my key and i'll just blur it out press enter and this should now push to the actual site so if all goes well, this will be pushed in a minute. And there you can see it now says your package was pushed. So if we close that down. You can make a command line of that if you want to do a, uh, you know, a push regularly and not have to remember that. So you can create a new file, say, and just do push. Uh, dot cmd or dot bat whichever makes no difference and then you could right click and edit and you could paste the exact same thing in here so dot net uh, nougat push key key you know, you know the file like this and then point inside the correct folder where you expect it um, but don't commit that to source code with your key in keep your key private don't push that public because if somebody gets access to that it's like getting access to your password so now if we go back to the site and we go to uh, manage packages, published packages, you can see one. So it's now there. And sometimes it takes a while to appear, but now we should be able to open facetta.word and find this package now. So if we go to uh, here, we're done with that one. Close that down, open up a fresh one. And then we can open all facetta.word. And one thing I fixed as well, I believe yesterday in this uh, off video, if you will, was the uh, reference in here. These were failing, uh, like Foddy was failing specifically. So to fix that, if you wanted to follow along with the originals, is right click on load project, right click edit CS proj. And at the very bottom of this file, uh, there was a item here that was obviously a reference to Foddy and then a statement in an item group stating if Foddy hasn't found throw an error. So we deleted those few lines of code uh, and I can actually pull that up on uh, GitHub. So I'll show you the actual commit uh, just so that you can again follow along. Just sign in over here a minute so, so it's off camera if you will. And if we go to uh, facetto.word, then commits, and you'll see I fixed the csproj file, and we had this in. Uh, well, that's the JSON one. Uh, this was the foddy one at the bottom. So we removed this part. Uh, and then once I've removed the old one, so I removed foddy uh, from, directly from the csproj, and then reloaded the file. 
and then I deleted the N inject and the property changed manually from the references by just clicking on N inject and clicking the delete button and the same for that. And then I right clicked manage NuGet packages and search for the new packages for the N inject and property changed. And you'll see this blue icon. This is what's called a package reference. This is the more up to date reference now. So we should really delete all of these and anyone we can and re-reference them the same. So we'll do that in a minute. But let's first get rid of this DNA framework project. Just click and delete. The reference is now gone because that was referencing a project. And let's see if we can actually find DNA.framework. Let's see, so it's not, not there yet. Uh, it just takes a while to appear. So let's just do an update first. Foddy's got an update. Let's update that one. And then we will um, delete any references and re-add them. So we'll go to installed. In fact, they're the only three we've got. Um, so these are already up to date. Uh, that's referencing our actual core project and these are built in to the framework already. So none of these are external references. So after a few minutes, it usually takes just a couple of minutes, this should update to uh, you know, find the package. So I don't know whether we can force this. I don't think it's a pre-release. It's just simply going to take some time to appear. Uh, so we could type it in uh, into the package manager and install it this way. But I prefer to just simply wait and, uh, you know, once it's done. So you can see here, this package has not yet been indexed. It will appear in search results and will be available after the indexing is complete. Uh, so we simply just have to wait until this message goes, I guess. So I'll just pause the video at this point and keep refreshing this page. Once this is gone, we'll then resume and show you how to install. Um, so we'll carry on from there in a second. So I refreshed at 25 minutes. It still wasn't there. 33, it's now there. So it looks like it's about half an hour. And when I've Googled four times, the status.nougat.org page used to have an index lag page that they look like they're bringing back. Uh, but until then, we can't really see anything. Uh, so when you push a NuGet package, expect about a half hour delay based on this. So presuming that now, we should be able to search here. And there we go, it's now shown up. So now it's saying by Luke Malpass. So maybe I want to change that in the uh, author, maybe to Angel6, as opposed to my name. Um, so I'll probably change that in the next push. Uh, but to be honest, that it, the author is me, but it just doesn't show the, the company. I'd expect the company to be shown. So I'm probably going to change author to Angel6, maybe. Um, but anyway, there it is. So now in the set a word project, we can just click install. And it'll install all dependencies, which is whatever we're referencing. We've got to accept the licenses from after the, the references we have, not necessarily ours. And now you can see we've got DNA.framework. Uh, so now instead of having the uh, actual source code, we're just referencing a package. So if we just do a search for, uh, where's my search box? Where's my search box gone? It's not showing up. Uh, let me just close this and reopen. Something's gone funny with my search box. Uh, for set it a word. And do I have my search back? No, I don't get where my search box is going. It's just doesn't seem to appear. Uh, okay, so let me just, it's not there, but I can use it. I don't really get that. <laughs> the search box has vanished. Uh, so we referenced it, but we don't really make use of it anywhere yet. We've got the DNA here, and we do the framework.startup. So now you can see it's got the framework. If you press F12, it'll now go to the DLL because it's referencing the, the actual library now um, in the Nougat, you know, the Nougat store. So that's now referenced correctly, and we've published our own package. So now you guys can just search in uh, Manage Nougat Packages and install the DNA framework going forward. Uh, and all I have to do is right-click and update uh, the, the package whenever I do an update. So that's what we'll do going forward. And that keeps that nice and clean. And the next thing we'll do now 
is in this actual DNA framework source code. So if we were to close the solution uh, and we'll open the DNA framework. Uh, in this now, the first thing we'll do is uh, to add a web uh, manager. So something that our setter.word application can then talk to the server, the, the Facetto server we're making uh, through API, not necessarily RESTful, which is just what you probably hear of as like a, a word for how to communicate. Uh, we're not technically going to do RESTful as such. I don't really like that method. I don't like doing HTTP um, specific calls. I just like to do post and gets. I don't like to have to do deletes and options and all things like that. So, uh, but the bottom line is we'll be doing web calls from the Facetta Word application to say, you know, log in. And that will fire off to our main server. So we're going to make a web, uh, a web manager built into this framework, and then we can simply consume that to, to fire off requests to the server. Uh, so that's how to make a NuGet package for any of your uh, projects that you want to be able to, you know, reference this way. Uh, so I'll now put a link in the source code of this in the description README file that points to, you know, that you can install it that way, and that's the recommended way going forward. Uh, and then the next video we'll do uh, is going to be on making this web manager. So hopefully this was a useful video. Um, I've obviously got now a Patreon page, so I'll, I'll start putting that in the links to each video if you want to support what I'm doing uh, and donate to me. That'll be in the links. Uh, and as usual, any questions or comments, just leave them in the video uh, and I'll get back to you.